Hi guys, my first makeup video in the past two years. I can't believe it. Um, yeah, so pretty much lately I've been trying to get more of a no makeup makeup look. As you'll see in a bit, I don't have major skin issues, but I do get a bit of redness here and right now I have a pimple who wanted to pop out, but I kicked its ass. Oops. And <laughs> yeah, so it's pretty much my everyday makeup routine slash no makeup makeup look because that's what I'm trying to achieve every day and yeah if you want to see how I got this look and what product I use just keep on watching. So the foundation that I've been using lately and offers the amount of cov coverage that I want but also looks natural is this essence one and it's the Camouflage 2-in-1 Makeup and Concealer, high ca coverage, no mask effect, long lasting. And I use it in the lightest shade, Ivory Beige. Um, this year we had quite a late holiday in September, so I still got a bit of color of then. I have, uh, have a feeling that if this would be my normal, I don't know, no holiday in September year, this would be too uh, this would be too dark for me so if you are really really fair how i usually am probably this wouldn't work but yeah i can make a more detailed review and what i'm applying it with it's a sponge um it's not a beauty blender it's a two pound sponge <laughs> sponge from lidl and i love it got it over, all over my face First time when I'm filming with a viewfinder, so I'm really, really oh, tempted to look into it always. And yeah, it's not the, probably the best. So bear with me till I get used with not use it, relying on the viewfinder much. What I like to do with my blenders is to actually squeeze them in a tissue so it gets all the extra moisture. I find that if they are too wet, they actually dilute the foundation and you are left with no cover pretty much. What I do like about this foundation is that when you actually blend it into your skin, it literally lo looks like nothing. I'll just go with a bit more on the areas on my face which need a bit of extra coverage. So like my cheek and yeah, I do have like a pimple there. It never came out like the white head it, it's just red and now it's sinking down so i guess my skincare routine works somehow i don't know drying it out or something and yeah just a bit more i've been trying a lot of foundations recently and all drugstore but all more expensive than this one and i think i don't know it nothing really nothing really matches it for me once I'm done with foundation, I'm moving on to concealer and what I started using more recent is this Illuminating Touch by Collection and it's an under eye brightener and the concealer that I'm, that I'm using it's not always the same. For some reason I'm on the hunt for the best concealer. Um, I'm either currently I'm either using the Naked Skin uh, by Urban Decay or the MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer which is a long time favorite of mine. I do prefer the MAC one. I feel like sometimes it looks more natural, but the Urban Decay one is not that bad either. And I have a bunch of concealers that I'm trying, but they're not light enough for under the eye, so that's a bit, yeah, not good. <laughs> so I'm starting by applying the brightener under my eyes, and I don't have like really bad circles. I think the eye cream that I use helps a lot with that. And yeah, this pretty much does the job. I am a firm believer that rather than covering, you actually need to treat. So I think the skincare that we are using, it's more important than the um, makeup that you use to cover things with. Once that's blended in, I just put the concealer on top and you can see it brightened up a bit. I'm not sure it makes a difference, but the step I recently introduced and I enjoy it so far, it doesn't take so long and yeah, seems to help, kind of. 
and yeah i i did fall into the trend of applying loads of concealer but i do find that the sponge helps diffuse it a lot so it does well absorb a bit, quite a fair bit of it I do like to go with concealer on top of my eyelid as well because surprise, compared to a few years ago, I'm not really doing my eyeshadow every day. I'm actually not doing eyeshadow at all. I'm just doing, you'll see <laughs> in a second what I'm just doing. But yeah, I'm not really the eyeshadow girl anymore. And I never thought I would actually come to the moment where I don't use eyeshadow at all. So... Yeah, probably like three years ago, a no makeup look for me would be with, I don't know, natural eyeshadow or something, defining the crease and doing all these things, but not anymore. I'm using this to highlight a bit, but I'm just putting it here. <laughs> it, well, my nose has like the shape, so I do like to highlight this point, which is lower, and then I just blend it upwards, and then I just put a bit on my chin. Just for the sake of it, I guess. So yeah, I just blend this one upwards. I just realized I forgot the priming face. Now I actually use a face primer. And I'm trying a couple of new ones out. But my favorite, and my favorite actually finished, it was some number seven one, which I'm not sure where it's right now, but I will list the name down below. It was a green one, didn't do much for color correction but it made, made my face all smooth and the makeup went really well on it and then what I'm using I'm sometimes using is this MUA skin hydro primer skin defined hydro primer which is pretty much a lightweight hydrating primer my skin is oily but it's also very uh, dehydrated believe it or not it, it actually I think quite common with oily skin because you want to make it less oily you just put loads of anti-shine stuff and they just dry it out on the surface but it still continues to produce oil so don't do that but yeah anyway for setting my foundation what I usually use is the bourgeois healthy mix uh, no actually it's the bourgeois healthy balance powder and it's good I think it's my Third? I'm not sure if I was using it in Finland when I wasn't filming, but yeah, not sure if I was using that, but I, this is my second one in the UK, so that's a good one. And sometimes I do like to bake. <laughs> I don't know how I fell into whole this baking shit, but I, I do like to bake and I do like to bake cakes as well, but I do like to bake under my eyes sometimes and just my T-zone and then when I'm dusting the powder off it just goes to the other places and makes my skin better, I guess, looking better. So yeah, I, when I do like to bake I like to use this uh, Rimmel Match Perfection powder and this one is in transparent, I don't think they have any other shade. It's a loose powder but it's so finely milled. Today for the sake of this video I'm gonna use the Bourjois powder and yeah, it's the quickest as well. Before powdering I just make sure there is no, that nothing creased on my face, which is pretty much the concealer usually creases in on my eyes and then under my eyes as well. And sometimes I do get these lines in between my brows, so I do get rid of those and on my chin and yeah. Now I'm ready to set my foundation, I'm just using a Real Techniques Multitask brush and yeah, nothing special. I know you're supposed to pat to whatever, but I'm just trying to dust a light layer on top rather than pat it into my skin. I do pat it on top of my eyes because I get incredibly oily eyelids during the day, so I just do pat it, pack it on there. <laughs> but on top of my face, on the rest of my face, I just dust it. And moving on to bronzer. This one, it's a weird one. I use quite few of them. It just depends what I'm grabbing that day, to be fair. And the one that I'm using right now is the Honey Bronzer by The Body Shop. And the shade that I'm using is 01 Light Matte. Or if you want French, it's Matte Clair. And the brush also depends. I have a few that, I have a couple that I used in the past few days here. And 
This is a Sigma angled contour brush F40 and this is not a Real Techniques bold metals. It's actually something that looks like it bought from Amazon if I found or eBay. Hmm. If I find the link, I'll put it in the description bar. The one that I'm gonna use today is the, is the Sigma one. It's fluffy, it's not really con contouring with it. It's more like, yeah, bring a bit of definition to the face, but not much. The blush is something that you don't really see on YouTube that much and it's the Miss Sporty Oh Blushed Again Blusher. No clue. I've got it like a while back. I'm not sure it's even safe to say how much. But I I think it I think it was about when I started my first job here. So that's about two two years ago, almost two years ago. But yeah, the color is flirtatious and it's this really really lovely pink the center it's lighter and it's more illuminating while the outside it's more um and the outside is more pink when you combine the two on your brush it actually gives a really na natural flush of color and i have another shade but i don't love it as much as this one and i'm not sure if it's a popular one it's just not no one put it on youtube but yeah it's kind of always out of stock. I just want to buy a new one just because this, this one is turning two years old. Oh, it says it can use it 30 months after opening. Hmm, then it's fine, yeah. But I still would like to buy a new one because eventually it does run out. I did hit pan. The highlighter that I'm using today is another affordable one and it's the Technic highlighter. I just got it off Amazon. I know it's quite popular on Facebook makeup groups. So um, yeah, Technic Get Gorgeous highlighting powder. I'm sure it has a shade, but it's covered by this big Amazon label. I just used my blush brush and I Wrap it in and then just put it on top of my cheekbones. Just gives this natural glow. I really, really, really like it. What I usually do before all that, it's my eyebrows. I just realized I forgot because when I'm doing my highlighter, I'm just doing a light dusting on my brow bone as well. Eyebrows, I just like to use a spoolie and right now I have this small benefit gimme brow, brow gel thingy, fibers, blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah, that's what I use when I want a more natural brow and where I just want to give it a bit of color and to make them stay in place when they're long, like right now. I just put the brow gel on my eyebrows and then I'm um, just brushing. I'll just brush them out with my spoolie one more time. The next thing that I'm doing are my eyelashes. So that's pretty much just mascara. And guess what? We are so close to the end of this video. Um, yeah, I don't curl them anymore just because it's extra time in the morning and I care about my sleep. But yeah, I don't really curl my eyelashes. But what I do is brush them with a spoolie. It's a different one, not the one that I use on my eyebrows just because I'm, I'm like that. So yeah, I just brush them through because my eyebrow, <laughs> eyebrows get tangled. I can't even, I don't know, it's just, yeah. My eyelashes, not my eyebrows, but yeah, my eyelashes get tangled, believe it or not. So I do brush them for, with this pulley. And usually it takes less, but I don't talk usually. My favorite mascara at that moment, and I'm on my second or third one, I don't even know. It's this Bourjois Volume Revealed mascara, and I'm using it in waterproof. It's just perfect for every day to give, for to have like voluminous flattery lashes, but don't expect any massive lengthening or something like that. It just makes your lashes look better and which is what I do on pretty much every day. While the mascara dries, I'm just gonna jump into lips. And the other change is that I'm really into lipsticks right now. I do buy a lot of them. I'm trying to find the perfect nude. I still didn't. But one of my favorite combinations, which is 
my version of nude is this Clinique lipstick in nude pop. It was a sample that came off with a magazine. I still have plenty of it. And yeah, but the shade obviously is available in their permanent life. I can wear the lipstick on its own, but I also sometimes, most of the times, like to top it up with something else. And this is the NYX Butter Gloss and the shade is Angel Food Cake. It's a more mauve kind of nude gloss and yeah, I do prefer the mauve nudes, if they're even called nudes. That's pretty much what I do. I just spritz now some setting spray and this is the <laughs> Smashbox Primer Water, which guess what, I use it as a sp setting spray, not as a primer. And it works. This is pretty much it. Letting my hair go. I haven't worn my head like that my hair like that since I don't know when because in the mornings I usually just have it on top of my head in a messy bun. So yeah. Also if you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you su subscribe and hit the like button. It's just I just want to see if I can still do it. And yeah, your support would mean a lot to me. Thank you!